All right, guys. Um, what we have here is the uh, campaign number uh, six. There you go. Forge and alliance. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, I don't know. Last time I was talking about research and technology, but then I realized that it is like uh, it's number four. So it's basically another basic campaign. I'm not gonna play that. I'm gonna go into Forge and Alliance. We're gonna play Forge and Alliance, and we're gonna play the Battle of Falkirk. So yeah. Our coffers were depleted at the Battle of Stirling. So we need to strengthen our economy once again before pushing south into lands held by the English. We need to construct a market and establish trade routes to the villages of friendly clans. Local legends speak of three sacred relics hidden south of Stirling. Acquiring these artifacts for Wallace's army will be a great boost to Scottish morale. Well, there you go. Let's do that then. Capture three relics and garrison them in your monastery. <laughs> we have um, a monastery here, I can see in the background. If you lose your initial monks, you can train more from the monastery when you reach the castle age. All right. Our scouts report. Uh, the Scots are mounting a defense against the English and aim to capture all the relics in the region uh, to boost the morale of their men. The first relic is in the Scottish town itself. Uh, Scottish allies. Uh, oh, we, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. We have an we have an, an ally. Yeah, we have an ally here. Um, uh, have walled to the west, holding the second relic. They will provide support and fight with their fellow countrymen against the English invaders. And the English number three red have a strong base across the river to the southwest and have taken the third and final relic. Right. So each and every base here, uh, blue, yellow, and red, have one relic. The Scottish army has been For rallied red. by recent victories against the English. The situation is starting to look up. It will help the morale of our army to collect holy relics and place them in our monastery. One of the relics is close to your town. An ally has another relic. And the English have captured a third. Right. So you can retrieve a relic by clicking a monk and right-clicking the relic. Monks have other abilities as well. They can heal your injured soldiers or those of your allies. They can also attempt to convert enemy soldiers to join your army. Good. You have a relic. Protect the relic in the monastery by right-clicking the monastery. Right. So this is the relic number one. Perfect. You now have one relic garrison. Relics garrisoned in your monastery will slowly add gold to your stockpile. How about that? Look at this. Uh, nine, ten. So like every second we have one gold. How about that? Nice. All right. Uh, sheep herders. Let's gather some sheep meat. Um, farm here. Let's provide defense. We do. We do have two scouts. So let's explore the surroundings of our base. Let's do that. I go two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm just gonna do a patrol around the base. See. Let's see what this horse can provide for us. There you go. This scout actually provided us with more sheep how about that uh now we do need another three villagers to gather more sheep all right farms are a good source of food once you have exhausted forage bushes and animals farms are built like buildings and must be periodically rebuilt to gather right. food from a farm click a villager then right click a farm Click a villager and then right click a farm. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I know that. All right, it's fine. But we can also uh, introduce um, advanced researches. How about that? It's right. nice to have allies on the map. Mm -hmm. Your ally, the yellow player, can help you fight the enemy. You can also trade with your allies. To trade, you will need to build a market. Yeah, we are at the feudal age. In the feudal age, we can build a market. Uh, do we have a market? We don't have a market, so we need to build. Let's have. Right. Yes. 
Okay, uh, we have two villagers here. Let's have two villagers build the market. So, there you go. Um, let's build it right here. Alright, let's carry on exploring the map in this area, in this region right here. Let's do that. Now, where is the other scout? There it is. All right. right. Awesome. Uh, so far, so good. Let's work on um, upgrading our military. Two military upgrades and uh, I mean two swordsman upgrades and two range upgrades. Why not? We do need more food. You have a market. The market can create trade carts to generate extra gold. You can also exchange one resource for another at the market for a small fee. Mm -hmm. Click the market, then click Four sell here. food for gold. Oh, all right. Cold. Sell food for gold. Um, sell food for gold. So we don't have enough food to sell for 70 gold. Uh, now we do have it. All right, let's sell that. Let's see. Um, there you go. If we sell 100 food, we get... Um, how many? How many did we get? God. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, we got 68 gold. All oh, right. Did you know that there are three different modes for the mini map in the lower right corner of the screen? You can show only military units or only resources and trade units by clicking the buttons just below and to the right of the mini map. I'm talking about, he's talking about these four uh, circles right here. I do believe, right? Uh, there you go. This is just uh, an option for you to navigate uh, easier, uh, to, na to navigate in an easier way, uh, to navigate the map in an easier way. So yeah, why not? All right, and let's uh, build. I don't think we. All right, it's fine. Uh, we do have a lot of wood, so we can build houses. We need to build houses. Right, let's do that for now. You are right, our population limit. Our base defense is very basic regarding, you know, considering the huge base. Outside of the building that created them. Mm -hmm. You can have your units move to a spot once they are created by using gather points. To set a gather point for infantry, click your barracks, click set gather point, then click where on the map you want your infantry to gather. All right, so this is the barracks. Let's click the flag here. This flag allows, you know, it, it gives the orders to my men to basically not stand here, but to walk all the way to this area. Let's do this one. This, the same with the stable and the same with the archer, archer range. So there you go. Okay. Um, so far, so good. There you go. Uh, let's work more. We do have enough houses for now. Uh, let's go back. Six. All right. Seven. No. Eight. And you can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen. See the tree for your civilization. He's talking about this one right here. Uh, yeah, kilts. Let's see. Um, now, in I am at the feudal age, so we are talking about these. Uh, we have these units right here. We have men at arms, skirmishers, and scout cavalry. And the same goes with our archer and skirmisher. Now, we do need to advance to the Castle Age in order to create, of, or if we are able to create an elite skirmisher in the, um, in the Castle Age, it, he can help us a lot. Now, we also have some knights. Very good, very powerful uh, cavalry unit. Uh, we also have Long Swordsman, which is another good... Uh, this is basically... Um, this is much stronger than the pikemen, but it's not particularly true, you know, because long swordsmen are powerful against other units, but they are weak against other units. 
uh, with when it comes to pikemen, pikemen are actually much stronger against horses, right? Horses and buildings, I do believe, but they are not that much strong against uh, uh, melee units or archers. Uh, yes, from what I remember. So each and every unit has actually uh, a strong point and a weak point. You know, so there you go. One eyed villager, why are you idle? Right, let's build. Uh, good. Farm exhausted? Oh, let's click that then. Alright, let's do that for now. My scouts have explored the rest of the map, I think. There you go. Now, since most of my villagers are already working on farms, I can't do much when it comes to this. But one more, what I can do is I can use two of my villagers. Mm, to build my military. Two villagers, build more military buildings. Like I said guys before, the more military buildings that you have, the faster you can create military units. So let's do that for now. Let's work on upgrading our cavalry as well. We do have two boards, they're pretty far, I mean it's somehow too late for us to... Oh, there you go. Right, let's bring the sheep back. We have already, yeah, and my scout has explored the rest of the map here, so that's good. Now, these are our allies. There you go, the player in yellow. If we can, if you are able to protect them, we can actually uh, construct some trade with them. So in order to do that, there you go, they can provide us. Your allies town. Yes. Go inside to see how his city is doing. Your allies gate will open automatically for you. Welcome. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. Yeah. Right, let's bring a monk. Uh, let's do a box formation. This box formation gives me the ability to protect my monk. Um, let's bring this, well, caravan, if, if you would like to call it. Uh, <laughs> uh, there you go. You see the monk is in the middle. Everyone is protecting him. And I can, I can also give them uh, a forced defensive order by basically telling them using this order right here. No, not this one, I'm sorry. The guard, yeah, there you go. Uh, so let's have our military guard the monk. You see, all of, the, all of them now, they are guarding the monk. The relic is, um, let's see what we have here. Like he said, it's right, it has to be right here somewhere, okay. Let's give them some sheep, right? Uh, oh, there you go. Awesome. All right. Mm. Right, we can use two villagers to gather some meat as well. Why not? Uh... We are here. Let's have the monk carry the relic. Come on, relic, 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 relic. Awesome. Right, let's go back to the main base. And I'm going to try and offer them some protection, by the way. So I'm going to try to do that. Uh, two barracks, they are unit number zero or number ten. This is number 9, and this is number 8. Zero, 9, and 8. We are also ready to advance to the next age, so let's do that after the town center. Alright. 
Do we have anything left that we need to build here? We, we do have 500 stones. So why not build... Uh, you know, I'm going to basically own the map and I'm going to build my walls right here at the entrance because this is like the main and only entrance uh, for the English to our area. So I'm going to build my walls right here. I'm not going to allow the English to advance any further in this area. That side of the river is yours. This side is ours. Don't you dare come here. I'm going to fuck you up, basically. There you go. The English are attacking our town. Can you tribute any spare food or gold to us? I do. Tribute your ally. Click the Okay, how how much the button in the upper right corner of the screen? Yeah. Give your ally food and gold, but don't give him everything you own. Sure. Uh let's do that. Let's uh, how much food do we have? Do you have 600? So let's give him uh 300 and uh, 200 gold. Confirm. Thanks for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to our town and let's drive the English out. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna try and do that. No promises though, because looks like they do have some advanced units here. Look at this. They have a knight. That knight can basically destroy and obliterate my enemies, uh, my soldiers, pretty easy. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. All right. Let's have the monk put the relic in the monastery so I can get. You now have two relics, Garrison. Yeah. Bring back one more and you will be victorious. All right. Oh, there you go. They are providing us with the. Okay, they can soften them up before I come. Now let's see what kind of strategies can I use. Um, let's try divide and conquer, or let's not. It's not really divide and conquer. It's just. Um, uh, draw them. Let's draw them, basically. All right. There you go. Awesome. So we are successful in drawing them uh, away. Let's do the rest of them. All right. Let's do that. There you go, the knight is attacking. Perfect. Alright, awesome. Great job. I think he can he can destroy them easily. Alright. Good. See guys, our strategy actually worked. We were able to defeat the English. Alright. Uh how much yeah, let's build the gate if we can. Um, Alright, doesn't matter. Uh, let's build the gate here. So uh, we can basically lock the English in their own island. I don't want them to come anywhere near this area. This, like, this part of the map is ours now. We need to hold this border right here. Right, so far so good. We have three idle villagers. Why? Hmm. All right. Good, good, good. Hmm. I know that I don't have to do that, but... Okay, not enough gold. We do need to work on our gold, so let's take... Um, where is our gold resources? Let's see. According to the map, we have a gold resource right here. And let's not forget we also have another gold resource here. No. Alright, we only have one gold resource. Now, that's not enough in the long run, but... Let's not forget that we also have a market here with our allies. They can provide us with 29... Uh, gold per journey basically uh, per shipment uh, basically now what we need to do is to build trade carts from the market these trade carts allow us to bring shipments of gold from our allies market before we do that let's try and 
All right. Seven. That's good. All right. Yeah. Let's start gathering some gold. Uh, let's maintain the balance of our villagers. So we do need seven villagers, the ones that basically went to gather some gold. Um, what we can do as well, since we have a lot of wood, we can build a military base here. How about that? Let's build some military buildings. Um, pop, 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 pop. This is W. There you go. Alright. Uh, right, yeah, let's build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, let's lock the gate. Very important for us to lock the gate. All right, awesome. Yeah, let's do that now. Research the gold gathering option. And let's provide them all right now. Not yet. Now, can I build a town center? Oh, I can. Now, you see, guys, I have, been, I have been missing some strategies that I could do in this stage. And that is, uh, I think, uh, what do we call them? Blooming, maybe? Or booming. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I forgot that strategy. But that strategy gives me the option to build town centers and then um, that those town centers can provide me with, you know, with massive amounts of villagers. Uh, I can create farms and I can have my resources basically tripled. Uh, you know, I can have the triple resources that I have right now. But really, it isn't that much, you know. It, it like this stage doesn't really require this advanced strategy. It's just a pretty basic stage. Yeah, let's change the gathering points to. This is number eight. Zero nine. Eight. Good. And we can also build another military building, which is the Siege Workshop. The Siege Workshop can provide us with, well, Siege Weapons. Battering Ram, Catapults, Onager, you know, Scorpion. All of these battering, uh, all of these Siege Weapons. Uh, we can create them using these two buildings. Let's put them as unit 7 on the keyboard. So we have 0, 9, 7. Right. Right. Let's have them build a university. We do need a university. Okay. Good job. We're still missing some gold. We do need some trade cards. Okay, let's build some trade cards. How much do I need? I need 50 gold. So I have f I, like I have four trade cards available. Uh, let's select this market right here. Now keep in mind guys, I'm not using any like really, I'm not using any advanced strategies that the game suggests for me. Um, like uh, the, the, the strategies that I'm talking about are the strategies that uh, the art of war um, teaches you. You know, I'm not using any of them. I'm, like, I, I could use them right now, but it's like the stage doesn't really... isn't really worth it. So I'm just using pretty basic strategies. Right, let's... Um, yeah, let's do that for now. Okay. There you go. Alright, uh, we can build some towers, right? Let's see how many towers can we build. We can build a tower here. We can build a tower here. 
and we can build a third tower right here. Right. Mm. Okay. Are we still missing some buildings? Let's see. Um, no, I don't think so. And we are at our limit when it comes to advancing in age. Imperial isn't available for us at this stage. That's fine. Um, sure. See, we still have some researches, uh, some researches that are missing. So we need to work on that. We are still missing some food. Okay, let's build another town center here. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> we can build a town center without hundred stone. Okay, let's have them. Um, let's have this guy gather some stone for us. Sure. Okay, so far so good. We are able to bring forth a scout. Let's see, let's create one scout for now. Ooh, we do need some houses, right? Right, let's build some houses in this area. And then come here and build the tower, all right. Uh, okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. The first 10 trading cards, they are going to provide us with gold. Okay, um... We can help this guy here. Yeah, let's do that for now. You made a trade card. If you click the trade cart on your allies market, you can make extra gold. Your trade cart will automatically make trips between your and your allies markets. Yes, sir. See guys, there it is. This one goes to the market right here, gathers a shipment of 29 gold and brings it back to our market. So we can have some extra 29 gold. Uh, they move 50% faster. Right, let's do that. Okay, so far so good. Um, let's build another town center. And let's build the town center. Um, let's build it right here. I do believe that our maximum population population is at seventy five, right? Like the that was the population limit in the original game that was 75 60 65 70 75 let's build an extra one see if we can actually or if we have a new one um if we can go beyond 75 i mean all right yeah this gate is locked right let's explore 
our enemy's area and like again we do need to basically gather the relic there you go we have a back door here oh oh god we could have attacked like from this area holy shit i'm stupid oh boy <laughs> I like I really thought this was like the only entrance. Looks like we no, we have more entrance. Alright. Holy shit, I'm stupid. Oh boy. <laughs> I like I really thought this was like the only entrance. Looks like we no, we have more entrance. Alright. Holy oh, shit, I'm stupid. Oh boy. <laughs> I like I really thought this was like the only entrance. Looks like we no, we have more entrance. Alright. Can't add any more soldiers so we can't do any uh booming strategies it doesn't matter all right okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's bring our monks into this area and let's have our units right here now what can i see here in my enemy's base I can see some cavalry. I can see some cavalry and I can see some... Okay. Okay, again, let's go back here. Right. Um. There you go. Uh, okay. How about we try and attack them with onagers? Or, better yet, we do have some siege towers. No, let's attack them with onagers. <laughs> let's create some three onagers. How many do I have? Like four? Alright. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's build some archers as well. How many do we have here? Like five, six. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, guys, look at this. Now, our military buildings provide us with two units at a time because we two, we have two buildings. You have enough soldiers now to think about attacking the English and recovering yes. the relic. Yes, 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 yes. If you're getting ready to attack the English, I can help you out. Here, take this food and wood. Ooh, look at this. They give us food and wood. Right. Um, 
We do need some more. How many onigers did we create? Like three? All right. I'm going to try and attack them with onigers, guys. Now, this is this might not seem what you, you know, this is not what you're going to expect. But I'm going to try and attack them with onigers. Uh, like from a distance, right? So let's have the onagers being protected by our archers. Being protected by my archers, I want my onagers to basically attack them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's attack the ground here. Let's go. Didn't exactly work like I wanted, but you know, absolutely fine. Now these onigers are gonna be much help against. Um, yeah, they're not. They're not gonna be much help against this gate, but I you know why not? Let's do that. There you go. Right. Awesome. Hold your ground. Alright. Uh, the relic, the relic, where is it? Come on guys, where is the relic? Oh, there you go. Right, let's bring forth our monk. Because we found the relic, you know. We can, like, we can basically destroy the rest of the base, but, you know, uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna follow the objective and capture the relic. Where is he? There he is. Alright. Right. Let's box him in. Provide him some guard. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's go. Right, yeah, let's bring him forth, uh, bring him back into our base so we can continue uh, the campaign. Well, this stage is over, guys. Um, all we have to do is to just uh, bring the relic and um, bring it into the monastery, and that's it. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead. This match is in the books. That's it. Congratulations. You have captured all three relics. Yes, sir.
Good. Let's continue uh, to the epilogue. With the three relics locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers and knights of her own with which to meet long shots. We march south to Falkirk, where we will join with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. Uh, right. Alright guys, so that was the pin ultimate campaign. Um, basically uh, forms an alliance or alliance forming, I don't know what the title was. Uh, next time it's the final campaign in the William Wallace. Uh, well, it's the final stage in the William Wallace campaign. Uh, so, I'll see you then.